Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Derek Chiru podcast. Uh, today, the 22nd of September 2020, uh, I want to come to you with uh, a very uh, uh, special topic. And uh, uh, I want to start by uh, talking about something that has transpired uh, in my life the uh, past couple of weeks. And um, uh, this month, I uh, just uh, about two or three weeks ago, I got a message of some of you probably have seen on my Facebook page that uh, my best friend of 30 years, really, really best friend, good friend of mine uh, had passed. We just buried him uh, yesterday, um, the day before yesterday on the 20th of September. I put him to rest. He was a very dear friend of mine. Uh, he just turned 50 on, uh, in, uh, in May and he went uh, skydiving. He wanted to do something big, so he went, he jumped off the plane and he sent me the video. He talked about it, we're excited. The next week, I get a message that he's gone. I was devastated. But that kept me thinking, um, how can a 50-year-old man, he wasn't sick, it wasn't an accident, all of a sudden he's, he's gone. It, it kept me thinking and I thought about it a lot more. And hence, I came up with this topic for today that I've entitled Like a Thief in the Night. That, of course, is from uh, uh, First Thessalonians. Uh, Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 2 which says for you yourselves are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night I have some other scriptures that um, I also want to uh, share with you like uh, Matthew 24 verse 43 says but you know this that if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Uh, I have other scriptures that I want to share before I go into details. That is uh, the other one is Revelation chapter six verse fifteen that says, "Behold, I am coming quickly. Uh, I am coming like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake, keeping his garments on, that he may not go about naked and be exposed." I also want to uh, read uh, First Thessalonians. Uh, uh, chapter 5 verse 4 again it says but you are not in darkness brothers for that day to surprise you like a thief in the night this is the English standard vision um, Second Peter chapter 3 verse 10 uh, in the English standard vision says but the day of the Lord will come like a thief and then the heavens will pass away with a roar and the heavenly bodies will be burned up and dissolved and the earth and the works that are done on it will be exposed. Brethren, when I got the news of my friend passing, uh, it devastated me. Uh, but afterwards, it kept me thinking, what if I was in my friend's place? Was I ready to go and meet my maker? Because these scriptures, of course, are talking about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. That it will come like a thief. It will come like a thief in the night. But death, too, sneaks up on us like a thief in the night. Like my friend, I never expected. I, I never expected. But his children, he left his two beautiful children. The girl and the boy, the wife, his brothers, his mother. God, the news came on his mother's birthday. What? She was devastated. She's older than him. You expect that maybe the mother would go first, but he went first. So if you were in my friend's position, are you ready? Are you ready? If your answer to that question is no, then I want to question you, to caution you that it will come in one way or another. It may be premature death, but in one way or another, it may be through an accident, maybe through sickness. If you are sick for a while, you are lucky, you have an opportunity. You will have time to repent. But if it sneaks up on you, maybe you are caught up in a shooting at the mall or in a flood, in a storm, where you do not expect to die and you have no time to repent and confess your sins, then I feel sorry. And I'm speaking to you today. I want to question, to caution you that it's time to be ready. One of the scriptures that I have here is uh, Revelation uh, 20, chapter 22, verse 12 to 14. It says, 
and behold I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his works shall be I am the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end the first and the last blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city he comes quickly with the reward and that you who obey his commandments you are blessed because you have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city brethren this is talking about the second coming of Christ but if you died today if we end in my friend's place are you ready for this reward? Are you sure you will be, have the right to the tree of life and death? Are you sure of entry through that case? If the answer is no, I'm speaking to you today. And I want to caution you that one of my favorite scriptures is Revelation 3.20 that says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in with him and die with him and him with me. Christ is speaking to you right now and is standing at the door of your heart. All he wants is for you to confess him as Lord and personal Savior. Accept him into your heart. Repent. Confess and repent of your sins and invite him. Humble yourself before the Lord and say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. I'm ready. Because it doesn't matter how old you are, how young, how young you are. It doesn't matter how beautiful or ugly you are. It doesn't matter how rich or poor you are. Death will sneak up on you in one way or another. But if it sneaks up on you, are you ready? Do you know where you're headed? Are you sure that you have the right to the tree of life? If the answer is no, today is the time, brethren. Because my friend was only 50. He wasn't sick. He had two beautiful children. He had a beautiful job. He was handsome, everything that every person looked for. But he's gone. His eight, eight-year-old mom is still here. So it doesn't matter whether you're young, don't think you have time. Because once that time comes, you have no second chance. The, why, who you are when you die is who you appear before the judgment seat of the throne of Christ. And if you are not ready, then you know what your reward is going to be. Of course, it's not the right to the tree of life. You are headed somewhere else. And I want to caution you today to be ready to put things right in your life, to change your ways if you're not a Christian. I'm not talking about going to church. I'm talking about accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Many of us are confused. We think going to church is going to save us. No. Going to a college doesn't make you a college student. Going to a doctor doesn't make you a patient or a, uh, or a nurse or a doctor. Unless you are going and admitted as a patient, then you are a patient. If you go and get hired as a nurse or a doctor, then you are an employee of the hospital. You are hired as a doctor. If you go to the, through the admission office and are enrolled, then you are a student, college student. If you just walk on campus, you are not a college student. So if you are one of those that just walk into a church every Sunday, but you have not gone through the enrollment process of accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, you are in danger because you will not have the right to the tree of life. And today, I'm speaking to you and I want to caution you to put things in order. Don't be and expect it when death comes. Be ready. Know that if you were to die today, you know where you're headed. If you were caught up in a situation where you have no time to repent, you are ready. Death sneaks up on you like a thief in the night. The question is, are you ready? You'll be driving from work today and you're caught up in a road accident. Or maybe there's a shooting at the mall and you're one of the victims. I'm not saying you are, but if you, where are you headed to? And this is what the Bible, these scriptures are referring to the second coming of Christ. But because of my friend's death, it made me reflect on what is at stake that he 
it may not we may not all get to that point we may die before the second coming of Christ and after that there is no second chance the only chance that we have is when we are still here on earth alive when we are still living breathing the hair that God has given us we have the opportunity to turn to him and humble ourselves before him and invite him confess and repent of our sins and turn away from our wicked ways and accept him as our Lord and personal Savior once death sneaks up on you that's it who you are at that time is who you are going to appear before the judgment throne of Christ it doesn't matter whether you went to church it doesn't matter whether you sang in the choir it doesn't matter whether you give offering, offering and tithe it doesn't matter whether you help the poor if you have not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Christmas into your heart you will not have the right to the tree of life and the reward that he's talking about in the book of Revelation you are not entitled to any of it and it's for this reason that I speak to you if you are listening to me to look into your life examine your life today doesn't matter what your age you may be 20 5 6 80 120 you death can still come one way or another it will sneak up on you the question is are you ready I encourage you if the answer is no to go and kneel before the Lord right this very moment because immediately the time you finish listening to me you don't know what's going to come up you don't know what's going to turn up you don't know what you're going to end up with we might just hear that you are gone now if you do go before you make this decision you know what is in stock for you you have the opportunity today the opportunity to turn things around to turn your life around and to invite the Lord Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and personal Savior and live by his commandments of course which is the word of God Bible change your ways and then you are assured of the right to the tree of life and death. Brethren, it's time to be ready. Don't be exposed because when you appear before the judgment, the seat of Christ, it will not be pretty if you are not ready. Of course, you know that you are headed to hell unless you turn things around today. And I want to encourage you and to leave you with this encouragement that he stands at the door of your heart and he's knocking. If you open, he's ready to come in. You have the right to say yes or no. He's not going to force himself on you. You have to make the choice because the power of life and death is in your time. It's you that has to accept. Thank you, brethren, for listening. Uh, I hope you know uh, listening and tuning for my next week's podcast. Please, uh, sign up or follow me on my podcast so that you uh, get notification when I post a new I do this weekly uh, may God bless you uh, thank you for those of you that sent in messages of condolences, your prayers and your support uh, during this difficult time uh, we put my friend to rest uh, on Sunday the 20th of September and um, I'm just praying for his family and uh, I'm devastated because it was more like a brother May uh, God richly bless you for those that supported financially, uh, those that supported in uh, prayers. Uh, may God bless you. We really appreciate the family. We really appreciate your your support. Uh, God bless you.